hate to see that it's come to Bastrop County, but I think that all police officers all across the United States are facing what we're facing. In the shooting of one of their own, this all started around 10.30 last night with a criminal mischief call. CBS Austin's Paige Hubbard has been following this story all day long and joins us live with more on the chain of events that led up to the shooting and the manhunt that followed. Paige. While the Bastrop County Sheriff's Office says Stark was taken into custody just a little before noon today after someone told deputies they saw him walking near the scene of the shooting. And this is really a bizarre chain of events. They were originally searching for someone in a blue pickup truck. That's when deputies here came across Stark, who they are very familiar with. And they say once a deputy approached him, he opened fire. A criminal mischief call turned into a manhunt in Bastrop County Sunday night. Deputy Sawyer Wilson responded to a vandalism report by a homeowner who saw someone in a blue pickup truck with a mattress in the back. The deputy spotted a black truck matching the description at LBA Market and made contact with the driver. While reviewing the video, we happened to see a blue pickup pull in behind the deputy's car while all this is going on. The deputy doesn't see this. He's confronted with the, with the suspect. And the, the other vehicle, the blue one, with a mattress. Now, we've got two vehicles with mattresses in the back. How odd is that? The driver of the black pickup was Michael Stark, who was wanted on a parole warrant for a burglary in Bastrop. Shortly after he started shooting, he shot the deputy three times before running away from the scene. Stark has an extensive criminal background with over 25 arrests, ranging from assault, narcotic violations, and possession of a firearm. That with a person with a criminal background this extensive, how was he able to be on the streets? It was a mandatory release, so the state law uh, dictated to TDC that he had reached enough time that he could be released and on parole. I know you've mentioned you don't feel the suspect is a threat to the community. Why do you feel that way? I don't think he's a threat to the public directly. Indirectly, yes, he is. But uh, I've been telling the other news sources and everything that he's not a direct threat. And the reason is because he was not involved in a crime. He's not going around robbing stores. Cook says Stark is a threat to law enforcement or anyone who tries to interfere with his freedom. One Bastrop County resident says the area used to be a quiet town, but feels it's not anymore. I just don't like the idea of that happening because there's just too many children, too many families here. The wounded deputy is in, um, remaining in recovery tonight, and he is expected to make it. Sheriff Cook says his vest saved his life, and as for um, charges, Stark sits in jail on a $2 million bond. He has no new charges, and officials say that they're going to hold off on capital murder charges because with an investigation this extensive, they have to look into some more details. And tonight at 6, I'll have more on what led to his arrest. Live in Bastrop County, Paige Hubbard reporting.